everyone. So today I'm going to do a lit chat, a book review. I haven't done one in a long time. I've actually haven't been able to read that many books because I've been really busy and I feel like I'm really out of practice with reviewing books. So I'm sorry this review is going to be all over the place. Um, but I did read a really good book recently on my Kindle. Um, it is called Out of the Easy by Ruta Sepetis. Now, Ruta Sepetis is quickly becoming one of my favorite authors. Um, I read her debut novel, which the title kind of escapes me right now, but I will put it um, in the information bar. And I remember that was like one of my top books of, I think, last year or the year before. And so when I saw that she had a new book out, I immediately picked it up. The story is set in 1915s. 1950s New Orleans. So it takes place in the French Quarter, which I don't really know too much about the history of New Orleans, but um, I think the French Quarter was where like originally the French settlers or like the French ancestors, I guess, settled. I'm not, I really don't know the story of New Orleans, but um, so the French Quarter, I guess, was like, it used to be kind of a rundown or like the red light district of New Orleans. That's how it was described in the book. So I'm guessing that was like, kind of the place where there were speakeasies and there was like brothels and bars and stuff like that. The story revolves around Josie. She's like the main character and she's born to a mother who's actually a prostitute in this kind of red light district. So her mom is a prostitute and her mom is also just not a very good mother. Her mother is very self-absorbed in her life. It seems to be like she's got some kind of a drug or alcohol addiction. Um, she just, you know, doesn't really care too much about Josie, her daughter, and she kind of blames Josie for her own predicament. Like she kind of blames her daughter for losing the best years of her life. And, and Josie also never knows who her father was. You know, it's kind of assumed that I guess she, like her, her father might've been a John or something that her mother had sex with. So Josie has like a really kind of rough, childhood obviously she grows up surrounded by prostitutes um, her mother works in a brothel sort of an illegal brothel in the french quarter and she gets a lot of attention mostly from the other women working there so it seems like the other women who are working there as prostitutes they seem to almost take on a motherly role towards Josie more so than her own mother. Josie starts to develop a close bond to the brothel madam. Um, so the brothel madam is a really kind of, she's kind of a tight ass, you know, she's kind of like very strict and, you know, she does illegal things obviously because she's a madam and stuff, but she actually has a good heart, like down deep down, she has a good heart and she actually cares about Josie because she realizes that Josie is, um, like kind of a smart girl, like even though she was born into these kind of awful, you know, surroundings, she's actually really smart. She She's really good in school. She gets good grades and stuff. And her dream is to go to college and like get, get an education and get out of New Orleans, like get out of this surrounding. One of the parts of the story is like this actual, there's actually a mystery that's kind of the main part of the story, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't really say that this is a mystery book. There's a mysterious murder that happens in this district, in the this kind of red light district in the French Quarter. So a man is murdered and Josie actually has some contact with this man prior to his death. Like a very short, she has very short interaction with him. Um, and then when he turns up murdered, she kind of becomes not involved in it, but she be kind of wants to solve or figure out who murdered this man. She finds out that actually the people that she associates with in that quarter, like people that are part of her life are somehow associated with this murder. The rest of the story just has to do with all the characters that surround Josie's life. So she has a very good friend. Um, she has a couple of very good friends there. She doesn't want to end up like her mother. Like she doesn't want to become a prostitute. It's a really colorful book because all the characters in it are quite interesting. Um, you know, none of the characters are cliche. Like it was a book where there were characters in it that I hadn't met before in that kind of a way. The story is also very focused on the relationships that she has um, with her friends, with this madam that works in the brothel or her, or like where her mother works. Another thing that is kind of makes Josie a bit unique is she doesn't know who her father is, so she kind of always is looking for her father. I mean, she has no idea who it could be, but she tries to figure out, you know, what kind of a man her father could have been because I guess because she has such a sad 
relationship with her or such a dysfunctional relationship with her mother that I guess she's trying to figure out like who her father is. You really saw sort of the class division that existed in that time period in like 1950s New Orleans. Like there was the rich people, like the uptown people they called them, I guess they were like the rich folk. And then the people in the French Quarter were kind of looked down upon because they were seen as kind of like the scum of the city. Josie is like, she comes from that environment, like she's in the French Quarter, but she's trying to get out of it and she's like a good person and she she's very smart and she like wants to have a better life for herself. It was just a really great book. Um, the story was interesting. I loved all the characters in it. I thought the characters were just really unique. Um, I loved the interactions between the different characters, like the friendships that existed between Josie and various people in the book. It was, it was really well written. Um, it, it's a book that you could read really quickly. So I mean, I'm a fast reader, but it's, it's a, definitely a book that you could read pretty quickly, but it's by no means like a shallow story. So I definitely love that book. I really recommend it to anyone who is looking for something a little bit different. That's sort of the cliche, like, paranormal or dystopian books that are just all the rage right now. You can also follow me on Goodreads if you want to add me on there and kind of see what books I'm reading right now. Um, I'll post a link to that below and I will see you guys very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this lit chat and um, that's it. Bye!